Here we are in Silk Road, Chaihana, Uzbek cuisine. Private lounge looking like area, sort of like a bed, sort of like a sofa, surrounded by colorful cushions around it. It feels so cozy. Getting ready to order. Can we get the eggplant salad? Is that a popular one that yes, a lot of people yes, order? Yes, yeah, okay, yes. we'll get one of those. Good choice. Good choice. Isn't that the traditional or the national dish? Yes, yeah. that's right. And yeah, it's most popular. Is it most popular? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Chicken kebab. Chicken, okay. Chupa. Okay, chicken sure. soup. Yeah. A lamb soup? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll get a cup of that. Is there anything else you would recommend that's really a popular dish? Manti. Manti, yeah, we'll get yes. the manti. Yes, manti. Yeah, Thank that's you. it for now. Thank you so Thank much. You. just ordered our meals. When we asked our server what he would recommend us to get for our drink, he recommended us this Uzbek traditional and popular fruity drink. It's basically a big hot pot of water boiled with berries and strawberries and some sugar and a little bit of honey, I suspect. So I'm gonna take my first sip. Oh, this is so fresh. It's just perfect for the summer. It's pretty sweet, very fruity. It's just a berry juice mixed with water with some sugar. This is perfect for any meal, I'd say. We got the eggplant salad to start with. It's basically thin slices of eggplant stuffed with tomatoes, peppers, and I think there might be some mushrooms and some white yogurt sauce. And this is a cold salad, eaten cold. I'm gonna take my first bite. The eggplant is really chewy. And the sourness, I think, comes from the yogurt. I also have a little bit of the um, chopped bell pepper. It's nice and sweet and sour at the same time. This is awesome as an appetizer. Our server also recommended us this Sherpa soup. This is a popular and also a national dish in uh, Uzbekistan. The mix of vegetables in this Sherpa soup has a lot of chickpeas, carrots, potatoes, tomatoes, celery. Mm, this is just really healthy. So we gotta try this soup. This lamb in the soup, it's like fall off the bone tender. Look at this. It actually has bone in here too. And look at the fat in the back and it's so tender, I can just use my fork to sort of separate this. It's really tender, okay. I don't think I can separate that collagen part in the middle, but let me just take a bite. <laughs> mm. The lamb bone just came right up my mouth. I didn't have to cut with a, with a knife. Oh, this is so good. We should have gotten, this is a cup size. We should have gotten a bowl size. This is called pluff, and it's Uzbekistan's national signature dish. It's a very commonly cooked dish people eat at home, outside in the restaurant. And look at this lamb, it's so tender. Mm. This almost tastes like the soup, but it's the dry version of it. The carrot is so soft, it just melts in your mouth. The lamb, it's so tender, peppery. Oh, this is so good. Literally, this is just like the dry version with rice version of the soup. Oh, I'm peeling off the garlic. It looks like it's just it just melted in there. Look, it's almost like butter. The garlic is not as strong as it looks because it looks like you're gonna take like a whole clove of uh, garlic in your mouth. It's not as strong as that. It's, it's so well seasoned. Manti is basically dumplings stuffed with meat and you can have any kind of meat and I think there's options of pumpkin as well. So we got the beef here mixed with onions. Something that's special about this dish is that it's eaten with yogurt sauce on the side. It's not eaten alone, not with soy sauce like the Chinese style. This is with a yogurt sauce. So I'm gonna take my first bite. Wow, look at this manti. It's stuffed with meat and onion. Beef is very chewy. It might be seasoned with some cumin seasoning inside. And it goes pretty well with the yogurt sauce. I'm pretty surprised. Yeah, the yogurt sauce is pretty light. It's just like gives it a slight sourness to the dumpling. It's perfect. Look at this chicken kebab. I don't think I've eaten a kebab like that. Wow, very nicely grilled, lots of pepper, and I can taste a little bit of sourness already. Just loving how tender all this meat is. Now dip it with the tomato sauce. Tomato sauce is nice and cold. Add a little bit more extra sourness to it. 
because of the sourness in a lot of their seasoning like yogurt sauce, the cumin, tomato sauce, it really makes you want to keep eating because of the sourness. Have you ever had Uzbek food or have you seen Uzbek food in your area? Look at how I'm chilling, just like sitting here, taking our time. If you've never been here, check this place out. Gaithersburg, Maryland. It's called Silk Road. Choi Hanya. Choi Hanya basically means a tea room or like a cafe. So this is Silk Road Cafe with authentic and delicious Uzbek cuisine. We ate this! Clove, the lamb with rice and the whole garlic on top. We totally ate this one. But we ate this manti. <laughs> See? National dish. And I think this is baklava. We have had so many different baklava from Turkish baklava to Ethiopian baklava. And then I didn't know that Uzbekistan also eats baklava. Silk Road Chaihana restaurant. Highly recommended. It was our first time too. And just by trying a new world cuisine, you'll learn a little bit more about the culture, about their food, about their people, which is pretty awesome. If you enjoyed our video today, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, click on the little thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel if you haven't for more taste of the world cuisine in the US awesome videos more to come until then we'll see you on our next video